Good morning and welcome to Vaudeville for the third installment of Recognition TV. Uh, today we're going to talk to you about uh, how to start a recognition program and we're bringing this to you live from my office here at Vaudeville as you can see. Uh, any live production as Mr. Ryan Seacrest can tell you doesn't go off without a capable assistant and assisting me today is Cor Corey Curtis on the other side of the camera. Uh, our PR coordinator and social media maven. And Corey, uh, we're bringing this to you live because we want interaction with you guys. We're hoping that you guys uh, uh, bring some questions to the table that we can uh, uh, attempt to answer and uh, uh, have this be more of an interactive discussion. So uh, first and foremost, we want you to, when, when, when you think about starting a recognition program, we want you to remember that this is easy stuff. It doesn't, you don't have to get overwhelmed by um, creating a, a wide-reaching program, starting simple, uh, just getting started is, is the first step. Uh, and in the spirit of that, there's three steps that we're going to talk to you about today. Um, how to identify what you want to recognize, probably a critical first step. Um, deciding how you want to recognize, what tools you're going to use to implement that recognition. And then lastly, how to start recognizing. So uh, before we get started, we're, you're going to see a poll show up here or here. Uh, somewhere over here um, to, to kind of get a, a read on the audience's uh, level of recognition that they're, uh, um, that they're currently doing. So uh, let's get started with, uh, with first discovering what you want to recognize. And I think it's important to start with um, taking stock of what you're doing today. I think some people will be surprised that they're doing more than they think. And if you sit down with a by yourself or with a group of managers or others and try to write down, okay, what are the things we do? We do have a year-end event. We do do some anniversary awards. We do do um, you know, corporate lunches around goals. Uh, try to capture what you're doing and really what behaviors those uh, acts of recognition are, are geared towards. And then think about where the gaps are. So there's probably some things that you're doing a great job of recognizing. And then there's other things, behaviors that, that maybe aren't being recognized. And that can be a great place to start in how to build up your recognition program from where it is today. Uh, as far as uh, you know, a case for recognition and uh, why it's important and giving you some ideas of, of, of how to sell recognition within your organization to other managers or up the chain, uh, we have some great tools out there. One of them is our, our, a white paper that we have uh, out there on how to motivate, engage, retain, and excel. And this is a white paper you'll find uh, in the Recognition Resource Center uh, of our website for download. And it can be a good kind of thought starter as far as uh, why am I doing this, why is it important, and give you some ideas of how to get started. I think it's, uh, it's, it's important when you think about what you want to be recognizing to be really specific about um, the behaviors you're trying to uh, reinforce. And a good place to start is with your core values, your mission statement, other guiding principles that your organization much, might have. Uh, great recognition programs are often linked back to uh, the corporation's vision, mission, and goals. And if you, uh, by taking stock of what you're doing today, discover those gaps, discover maybe some relationship of those things to your core values, uh, you'll often you know, make the, the job of deciding what you recognize, want to recognize very easy because often those things have already been defined. Uh, here at Baudville we have core values and uh, those are captured in the word inspire, uh, which is integrity, nurture, share, perform, innovate, respond, and excel. And so when we sat down and looked at some of our recognition programs, we discovered we, weren't, we didn't have a program that was specifically targeted at our core values. Uh, we also discovered that a lot of recognition at Baudville was top-down. It was managers giving recognition to employees, um, and that, that that's an, a critical part of any recognition program. But when we, we started looking at core values, a lot of those things were th attributes that, that maybe managers weren't always going to be present to see. And so what we really decided to do was to implement a peer-to-peer -peer recognition program built around our core values. Uh, we call that program Shoutouts. Uh, we have kind of a version of that product uh, here today. That's really simple, just, just small notes, a kind of a to and a from line, an area to write uh, the behavior that, that, uh, that is being recognized and, and kind of a thank you note. Uh, we see at Bonneville a lot of people really decorate the exclamation point uh, creatively. And then these things get posted here uh, on a common uh, um, on a common bulletin board. So um, some, some people can choose to give these directly to the person who's, who they're wanting to recognize. But at Baudville, we wanted to kind of put those out for all to see, for everyone to know that uh, Jenny in accounting made, uh, had a great day or a great achievement. And so uh, oftentimes, you'll see sort of the viral uh, aspect of that recognition. Uh, the person who's being recognized doesn't know until someone comes and says, hey, I saw that shout out, uh, uh, great job on that project. So uh, the peer-to-peer -peer recognition and then displaying those for all to see at Baudville is a great way uh, for us to tie our core values back to a recognition program. 
Another one of my favorite examples outside these four walls is a recent, uh, the 2007 uh, winner of, uh, um, by rec recognized by Recognition Professionals International's Best in Class Recognition Program was MGM Grand International. Uh, and of course you guys all know MGM Grand, they've got a big hotel and casino out there in Las Vegas and uh, they really tied their uh, recognition program back to their core values as well. They had six core values and 16 service standards and they do some really fun stuff. Obviously they have a pretty cool place that they can hold recognition events but they bring in corporate leadership on a monthly basis to recognize people who are being or really exemplifying uh, those core values. So in defining your recognition program, take a minute, figure out what you're doing today, look at your core values and your mission and goals, and really define what, uh, uh, how you can link any new recognition programs to those goals. Before we move on to, uh, how, to how you want to recognize, if you guys have any ideas, uh, things that you're struggling with, values at your organization, or recognize behaviors that you want to recognize that you're kind of struggling with drawing a link into uh, some sort of a program, uh, why don't you type those things in and we'll, we'll, uh, we'll circle back to those at the end of the presentation. Brad, before you keep going, I have some poll results. It looks like a majority of the people joining us, 56%, are looking for some new ideas for the recognition program. And the rest of people um, either don't have a program or they're doing service awards. And some people have tools, but they're just not practicing recognition right now. So that's kind of where we stand with our attendees. Great, and that's that's probably like uh, uh, all of us have that kind of uh, uh, desire to refresh things from time to time. And I think with recognition programs, it's particularly important to um, to, to step back and revamp, realign, make sure those things are meeting uh, their original intended objective. And, and freshness and newness also re-engages uh, the participants, the staff, and others. So uh, likely the experiences being expressed there are not that different from uh, organization to organization. Certainly we experience those same things. Now moving on to how you want to recognize. Well, this is the fun part. You get to dream up the ways in which uh, you're going to recognize. And as you saw, Vaudeville, that shout out program, we had a group working on that and brainstorming on ways to implement peer-to-peer -peer recognition. Uh, but I think it's, it's very critical to first ask employees how they want to be recognized. Um, you can do this in a variety of different ways. You can indicate that you're starting a new recognition program and you want to, um, to, to poll the audience, so to speak, for feedback and send out an email survey. Um, at Baudville, we, we try to do that at the front end when a new employee is coming in. Of course, everyone fills out a, an application as a part of, part of the uh, job process. But after they've uh, officially signed on and started, we actually have a, a kind of a different application. And it's a, it's a tell us about you form. Uh, and this has information uh, on a little more, um, I guess, informal level than a, than a, than a um, uh, an application including their recognition uh, preferences, how they want to be recognized, ideas that they might have, hobbies that they enjoy, sports teams that they like, things like that, help give managers an idea of how to make recognition meaningful to the recipient. And uh, it also shows employees coming in that uh, you value them beyond uh, sort of the, the interview process, that you're interested in them as people and starts to set the tone, I think, the right kind of tone you want to set for new employees coming in the building. This tool is available free Yes, free on our website, uh, also on the Recognition Resource Center under free recognition download. So uh, you don't even have to do any work to start uh, implementing a program like this. But however you solicit feedback, it's important that you um, make sure that the, the, the ways that you're recognizing are valued in the organization. Likely in any poll of, of any audience, you're going to hear cash or uh, gift cards or some form of, of money as the way that people would prefer to be recognized. And well, uh, we all enjoy being recognized in that way. There's lots of research out there, uh, some of which you'll find in the white paper I mentioned, that, um, that sort of draw some, some question as to, to money being the best way to motivate performance. Um, we at Baudville like the power of a handwritten note. It really is personal. Um, you know, it forces the, the giver to, to really capture the essence of what they're recognizing. And, uh, and I think it's ultimately more meaningful to the recipient. Just to give you an example, I guess a, a hypothetical, uh, you know, if an employee does something great and they get a, a say, a $10 gift card to Starbucks, and I love Starbucks, but uh, uh, they're going to go and they're going to they're going to buy their latte, latte and and their biscotti, and they're going to walk out and their gift card's going to be gone. Uh, two weeks, three weeks, four weeks down the line, they may remember that moment, they may not, 
Alternatively, if they get a, a handwritten note from a manager or supervisor identifying the thing that they did great, uh, calling attention to it and really thanking them in a genuine way, um, oftentimes you see those things posted on someone's bulletin board, kept in a, in, a, in a place that others and they are reminded of that achievement. And those things can be very powerful uh, for have much longer uh, tenure as, as a, uh, uh, a value to that employee. So. Um, you know, money is good, but I think other programs and other things, the handwritten note at Baudville we think is very powerful. Uh, we have uh, uh, some products that speak to that. Um, very simple things like just post-it notes uh, that can be put on uh, reports or just on, a, on an employee's monitor uh, that call attention to a great achievement. One of our uh, older products in this genre is called Pocket Praise and it was really uh, designed with that intention. We know some people have workplaces where they don't sit at a desk, they're out on a shop floor or, or need something at, at hand and this is really intended to be kept in the pocket. Um, I was told you're a super, a super genius works here. Uh, there you are, so that we do some of the writing for you, and then you just have to jot a note for uh, for the achievement you're wanting to recognize. So lots of other ideas. You may create your own, uh, but the handwritten note is, is pretty powerful stuff. Last but not least, how do you start recognizing? So uh, you know, first I like people to consider uh, how they're going to communicate. Um, this new recognition program, whether it's in their work group, maybe you're just doing something for your team, maybe this is more organization wide, but certainly you have to think about how you're going to roll this thing out and do it with some flair, make it memorable, make it fun. Uh, and remember, you have to be the cheerleader, you have to be the advocate for this program, you have to be excited about it, and that excitement will carry on to the rest of your organization. Um, one, of the, one of the biggest barriers we hear, and I have personally, and I think everyone uh, with, associ with relation to, to employee recognition, is finding the time. You know, we have all these things and directions we're pulled from day to day, and how do you find the time to, to make this a priority? And I encourage you to use your calendar, whatever you're on, whether it's an old uh, paper calendar, on a PDA, on Outlook, on uh, Lotus Notes, whatever your preferred method is, and, uh, and carve out some time to make this a priority from week to week. It can just be 15, 20 minutes, uh, but that, that can force you to just be that reminder to, to actually uh, take it seriously. It's a part of performance management. It's a part of building relationships with employees and improving performance of an organization. So we find time for a lot of the other things, and this is just one more of those things that we have to make sure we prioritize. Um, you know, a recent uh, study of CEOs from Fortune 500 companies really drew some attention to this. In fact, uh, the CEO of Campbell Soup uh, had a 62% disengagement score uh, in his organization. Hard to believe you have you know, more than half of your staff disengaged. And he really uh, uh, imp implemented a program, one of which was to write a thank you note daily. And they saw their, their uh, employee recognition and engagement uh, really improve drastically over, uh, subsequently. Was it solely because of that? No, but there was an emphasis there and it certainly had an impact. So however you find the time, uh, make sure you make it a priority. We have lots of other great tools uh, that can help be reminders kept front of mind on the desktop. Our Cheers Kit uh, has a wide variety of little handwritten note items, gives you uh, kind of half of the words are written there for you, some of the creative stuff that our team brings to our products, and then you just have to jot the note and it leaves the uh, recipient with a, with a reminder. Uh, we have other programs from our Pintastic Manager, which is a little more robust program associated with pins. This is kind of the outcome. Uh, has a pen and a note card, and it has a book here that's got uh, and a variety of pins. And you can also write the recipient's name and date so you can keep some record. So you'll find lots of other products on our website that can support your day-to-day -day recognition program or your new program. And you also can dream up some things of your own that, that, uh, that you can supplement with, with other products. Corey, how are we doing on time? Well, we're doing great, but we have several questions from the audience to, to address first. The first question came in and the, this audience member needs some help getting supervisors to use the tools that they have. What are some tips that they can give to those managers to help them be a little more proactive with their recognition program? Great, that is a, a good question and a common one that we have around here. I think a good way is to, to, to have a regular uh, uh, opportunity to address that group, whether it's a staff meeting, a company meeting that you have, or a management meeting, and just make sure that the leadership in your organization is reinforcing that this is important behavior. Um, if you have buy-in from the top and you can get that, that message coming from uh, the leader of the organization or the department, that can help in getting everyone on board. 
The other thing you can encourage them to do is to, to make it a priority. Maybe you have to send an email out, you know, set yourself a reminder and send a weekly email out to the group saying, hey, have you guys, uh, um, you know, Friday morning, it's a great time to, to take 15 minutes to recognize. The other thing you can do is make sure they have the tools at the ready on their desktop, not hidden in a drawer. Uh, arm them with the ways to recognize and it'll help bring down those barriers of, uh, of time and, and kind of remembering to do it. You also mentioned just now about getting management buy-in and that was another question is how do you get management buy-in to start a recognition program? That's a great question and again I think you if you arm yourself with the case for recognition and some of the uh, the history um, uh, of why this is important things like the content you'll find in our white paper but really it's it's there's a lot of it out there right now a lot of leading publications are talking about uh, as the economy improves, uh, making sure you keep your star talent motivated and engaged, that there's a flight risk of your best and brightest. And so I think there's an issue that's very timely and time sensitive right now. If you spend a little time on a search engine looking for some, some, some uh, I guess, supporting evidence of the importance of it, you'll really be able to, to kind of reinforce that management buy-in. Okay, another couple questions address teamwork and how can you promote teamwork with a recognition program? Uh, teamwork is its probably one of the more popular themes you'll find among all the products in our catalog. It's certainly one of the things that we try to promote a lot and I think peer-to-peer -peer programs do a great job of supporting teamwork. Uh, you bring the whole team into sort of the recognition equation so it takes the pressure off management to see everything that's going on within a team and really to try to foster that uh, um, you know uh, the, the high fives that happen within a team uh, through a peer recognition program. Um, so I encourage you to get, get others involved in, in recognizing and it will make recognition of teamwork I think a lot easier. Great, well that kind of concludes our questions and we're at the 15 minute mark so Brad you want to wrap it up? Sure, it's been great to be with you all here live from Baudville in Grand Rapids, Michigan. So thanks to Corey for putting this together and, uh, and for all of you for joining us. We'll, you'll find the content uh, uh, basically a summary on the blog of both the ideas that we shared and the products that we showed you today. Uh, and we'll also be following up uh, the, the closing of the loop here is to get feedback from all of you. So if you've ever bought something from Vaudeville, you know you get one of these cards in your order. It says we feed you and you feedback. Well, I can't give any Tootsie Rolls today, but uh, you'll be getting an email here shortly that'll last for your feedback. And we'd like to continue doing this, um, not so much for us, but bring valuable content to all of you. So uh, this, this uh, How to Start a Recognition program was actually an idea from our last feedback survey. So we encourage you to uh, fill that out. I uh, encourage you to, to start working on your new recognition program and uh, you can certainly email us at recognition at .com with some success stories, challenges that you may have and we'd be happy to, uh, to hear from you that way. So uh, thank you and have a great day.